much. Continuing our team coverage this afternoon, the weather, as we've been telling you, is expected to be extremely cold and dangerous. Joining us live at the new emergency department in Winstead is Emergency Services Medical Director for Hartford Healthcare, Dr. Anij Vora. Thank you so much, doctor, for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. So first off, uh, our meteorologists have been explaining this is a serious situation. What types of injuries could actually result from exposure to these kinds of bitterly cold temperatures, especially with that wind chill? Yeah, I have to admit, I'm not looking forward to this cold weather, and I'm sure you aren't either. Uh, the injuries we typically see in the emergency room vary from frost nip to frost bite. Uh, frost bite can be uh, developed by symptomology of just feeling that numbness and pain that you can get in your fingertips or toes. Um, it can slowly progress then to discoloration of the fingers, the toes, and different body parts. And uh, it can lead to some serious irreversible damage if not treated and recognized early. So obviously some people will need to be outside, whether it's uh, for what they do for work. How long is too long if you do have to go outdoors? It's a great question. It really depends upon the amount of layers that you have on. First, if you're going to have to be outside, you want to make sure that you layer with as much clothing as possible, making sure that you cover your ears, your nose, your neck, uh, your toes, your fingers. And um, if you start to feel the symptoms of that difficult chill if you feel the numbness in your fingertips and your toes it's your body telling you that you've been out too long and you need to go into shelter to warm up also very dangerous times are when you have uh, wet feet okay which is often with the snow with the, with the rain or freezing rain if you should get wet you're at a 25 time higher risk of injury to the extremities so it's important important to get indoors and get dry as quick as possible when does it rise to the level for people to say, okay, this is, this is bad, I need to go to the hospital, I need to call my doctor? How do people verify that this is a serious situation? It's a great question. If you go inside and you can't get the feeling back in your fingers or toes, or if you're seeing discoloration of your skin or complete numbness and it's not resolving with just thermal heat, the next thing you should be doing is putting your affected areas into warm, not hot, just warmer than room temperature water. And if that's not resolving, you need to come to your emergency department so we can evaluate you. All right. So much good information, especially right ahead of what is expected to be a bitterly cold few days. Dr. Anij Vora, thank you so much for your expertise and your help navigating this. My pleasure. Thank you for having me.